I have acquired the new music disc. It's pretty good. Relic, it's called. And you might be asking me, where did I get this since last episode? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. So me and Michael did an, an, an adventure. It was pretty crazy. You may have noticed my pants look a little bit different. Because on our adventures, we found some armor trims. Yes, we got some of these. But we got the one armor trim to rule them all. <laughs> the silence armor trim. Boy, boy, did it, it took a while to get it. But then after that, we got that. Then we got went through a trail ruin for the first time. Some amazing loot. We got some armor trims from there too. And some pottery shards, some new ones. But we also got the disc out of it too. And it's a pretty good song if I do say so myself. So yeah, check out this armor. Oh yeah, it looks good. Got netherite on the helmet and gold everywhere else. It looks pretty good with the silence armor trim if I do say so myself. So let's get into the adventure, shall we? Impressive. All right, you ready to start here? There, mm, King oh, Perface. Oh. I mean, we can really only hope and try. But we Where can't try you? unless we get there first. We okay. So here's our spawn point. We did these ones last stream. I think we're gonna head up here, and it says it's uh, negative. 5,700, negative 10,000. We're gonna try and attempt to do it, travel there through the nether. So I gotta do some math in order to figure out where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> oh no, there's no way your inventory is full, bro. <laughs> it is now, you're picking up all, all the nether. Oh, inventory. <laughs> you better not die. You're actually about to die. I'm gonna get this sword out of here. No, bro. I forgot I didn't have a totem. <laughs> oh my! How could you? Yo, bro, bring that ender chest back over here. Don't you have your own? <laughs> bro, I ain't whipping that thing out right now. That's too much work. If you do think about it, because you have to. Just, okay, let me just run you through how much work it would be. I would have to go on my keyboard and push the letter E, and then I would have to drag my ender chest to my hotbar and place it down. That's way too much work. I think you put more effort into speaking that sentence than doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I see diamonds though. That's kind of crazy. Yo, I made it out. Where's the portal? It's right here. Uh, toward the center, I guess. That's the only thing I can... It's always in the ah. center. <laughs> Alright, bro, you need to whip out that night vision box. A night vision box? You better take a few. Thank you. Here There's still two wardens over there. Do you set your spawn point? Yep. Okay. Just gotta make sure. There's lava over here. That's crazy. Oh, I got another ward, man. Bro, you need to... Dude, this looks awesome. Uh-oh. Dude, we got uh, three wards already. Like... If I remember correctly, it's like a 5% chance. Definitely more, uh, not so rare. Than, I got uh, it. You did? I got it. What? No way. Bro, you would. I meet me on top of the portal. There's no way, bro. This is a stacked <laughs> chest. Holy man. There's discs in it, Dude, too. Get on top of the portal. There's no way you got Where's it. Where's the nearest lava? <laughs> no. <laughs> bro, no. <laughs> Dude, I got to see this thing. Here it is. Bro, that's the word one. <laughs> okay, here it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's no way. 
You better drop out there right now. I gotta see that for myself. This is going straight into the ender chest, bro. We're yeah, not losing okay. this thing. We, we're not. We're not gonna lose it here. Let's just we're not. keep. Let's find, might as well finish this thing off and go home. <laughs> Dude, there's that's actually crazy. Oh. I feel like we got pretty lucky there. So how many ancient cities did we go through? We went through like six or a seven. Lot. Yes, uh, Friday. And that, th today this is our second, so that was like nine. So Bro, that made my heart we... start going. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you found it. Yeah, I know. That is awesome. Neither that can I. Extremely awesome, bro. Man, I can't. That's, that's, Michael. That is legitimately actually crazy moment. What? This is quite a moment. Oh, bro, it looks so cool. I'm gonna try different colors. Hey, you like. better give me one really quick before you oh. accidentally use them all. Bro, I'm using all of them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean, dude. Dude, it's you almost is. did it. You almost. I almost <laughs> did. I almost did. That would have been so bad. Yeah, I duplicated I two more times. Dude, we okay. You gotta duplicate it and put one somewhere. One for each of us to have. I'm putting one in my ender chest right now, just in case. <laughs> I, I really want to put red on, but Dude, I don't really I have very much green, red on my skin. But purple looks awesome on it too. It does. What does gold look like again? Yo, bro. So what do you think you're gonna do? I think I mean, you should personally do gold. That looks. That actually looks Dude, that really looks good. Really good. That actually <laughs> looks. That looks awesome. It actually looks I'm, like an I'm, extension of my, like, skin. Yeah, I'm I'm do I'm going gold all the way for now. Yep. Yo, what is it, dude? This looks awesome. Look at that. I gotta get rid of the totem. Oh yeah, dude, that dude. purple. It looks like know, your entire looks, armor is purple. It looks like. <laughs> just walked in. Dude, this is <laughs> awesome. Look, it almost perfectly lines up to my skin when I don't have my chest plate on, too. I kind of want to make the chest, the, not the chest plate, the helmet a different color. I don't think the helmet. Yeah, I think you should do purple on the helmet. I got four extra trims. Maybe I should, I, maybe I should put netherite on my helmet. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna waste one netherite ingot on this. Dude, I actually did it. Mm. I'm leaving I it. I'm not using any more diamonds yeah. on these <laughs> or, smithing. Yeah. I almost I almost used all of them, though. That would have been really bad. I know. I was getting a, bit, a little bit distressed there. It's like, Michael, Michael. <laughs> Dude, that could have been so bad. It could have been so bad. And then we probably bad. would have never found it again. I'm just going to dig straight down. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait. There's dirt and gravel Yo. down here. Yo? Oh. A piece that? Of well, that looks like a pottery, pottery shard. shard. Oh, I got a pottery shard and it's a heartbreak. I'm finding what's, a lot what's of this? Though. Huh? Oh. I got the music disc. Bruh. Relic. Yo, dude, I got the I got an armor trim. What's it called? I got the shape. Shaper armor trim. Subscribe! Yep, 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 yep. Here's the story of this pot. So you have a you have a dog, but then and you really loved that dog. But then this creeper came along and then it starts burning and then it goes by your dog and blows it up and then your heart's broken. Yo, that's deep. It's very sad tale. All on a four-sided pot. <laughs> He's drinking all my potions while sitting on top of my campfire. That's a potato. You're eating all my poisonous potatoes? Hey, oh, no. I need those. <laughs> Get over here. I'm going to die. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm at one He's heart. eating all my poisonous potatoes. I need those. Bruh. Get over here, you! Oh, oh. <laughs> Bro, 
he ate them all. I only have 16 left. <laughs> so poisonous potatoes aside, um, the ancient city loot we got is all in here. So we got a whole bunch of cat discs, a whole bunch of five fragments, and a bunch of other sides. We got enchanted apples, though a couple of them got taken and used already. Lots of echo shards, so I can make so many recovery compasses, you won't even know what to do with them. And also these skeleton skulls, which are pretty neat that you can get from them. And here's the enchanted books, hose, and pants, chest. <laughs> All these are mostly swift sneak. So I'm gonna have to like sell these because these are kind of a unique enchantment. They're not very readily available until now. I'm gonna put these into my shop. He has a totem on. I forgot about that. So back here at the shop, the shop, I, I have sold one armor trim, but I'm going to take these out here and I'm going to put this in here with all the rest. I'm going to move these to a different spot area that I'm going to build for armor trims. Instead, I am probably, I'm going to put the swift sneak in here and I think I'll just sell these for like two diamonds. So we got plenty of them left. This is just all the ones that were Swift Sneak 3 already. So I got all these uh, diamond hoes. I think there was an area over here that was just for like a bunch of free stuff that people would put. And it was here, but I think it got moved here. But I'm not sure if this is a shop or not. Because all the stuff that was over there is in here now. I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna put this box here and put a sign on it saying it's free. Alright, so we have free diamond tools and box. So, chiseled bookshelves sort of thing, so you can put book sh books in there. So we got we got one published book on this on this world, and it's the was it the description of a bubbler can on here. <laughs> Should make a chiseled bookshelf and put it in here. That sounds like an idea. One singular bookshelf. We we'll just replace one of these with the bubbler book in there. Yo, that looks pretty cool. It blends really good with the uh, other bookshelves. And uh, the back of it's kind of broken in RTX, but th that's fine. But I feel like I should take some safety precautions. And so this is the last si silence template I got. I should duplicate this a couple more times and put one in a very safe, like, bunker, I'd say, just so it's in case we ever go through all of them, we have a backup. I don't know how many Mike has, which is AFK in my shop for some reason. Let's make a little bunker for this thing and keep it safe. <laughs> first, I gotta duplicate it first. <gasps> the amount of the diamonds I've gone through armor trims since they came out is kind of astounding. I've legitly spent over a stack of diamonds on armor trims already. I'll make a bunch of these because this is an actual good armor trim. And look at that. <laughs> I used all my diamonds. Why do I do this to myself every time? Like I spent like almost, I spent like half stack of diamonds on a, the coast one, which I had for a little bit. That was a waste. I don't know why I did that. I'm getting a little bit too ambitious for myself. How about that little cranny over there? That looks like a good spot. Nice little ledge to put a little door in. A little two by two door. All right, so we got a redstone torch powering, powering these sticky pistons. I believe we just put a line right there. If we step on this, it should open yet. We put a button or something on that side. Then we got a nice little easy door. Maybe I could use a skulk sensor and use an automatic door. I haven't used one of those yet. But we don't even need these. We actually don't even need these pressure plates here if we're using a skulk sensor. That's actually really cool. I just have to waterlog it so it doesn't make noise constantly. Alright, I got it. 
So I just put a repeater to it. The repeater can go through a block and power these two without getting it wet and washing them away. It works pretty good. I mean, I know there's definitely way more complicating things you can do with these skulk sensors, but this works for what I need it for. So this armor trim, it's made out of cobbled deep slate, and you see a little bit of skulk on the corners there, and there's that blue stuff in the middle. So I think we need to use skulk, deep slate, and a little bit of skulk. Oh my goodness, that made me flinch. Lightning, why are you so loud in caves? All right, I think I grabbed the necessary blocks. It's not gonna be very big. So I'm gonna whip up something really quick and see how bad it turns out. Okay, I got it done. So you, you can see some skulk veins popping out. And then you go in, it's a nice little eerie tunnel. All those blue stuff <laughs> and skulk. All right, here says backup silence armor trim to not flick lever unless of it in that emergency. But uh, I'll show for demonstration purposes. It's like the lever; it pushes it out so you can pick it up. So yeah, that's it. Just a little something. Ooh, glowstone under maintenance. <laughs> Bro, it's just completely stripped clean. What am I hearing? What? I'm hearing skeleton noises or something. What is that noise? I don't hear anything. I'm hearing a lot of things. That's weird. What am I hearing? Wait, then it stopped. Huh. That's weird. What in the world? Skeletons, you said? Some kind of skeleton. I don't know. What? I heard it again. If you ever need any good blocks, this is where you get them. I'm still kind of confused with where I'm hearing your sound from. It's not here now. It's what? I don't think there's a skeleton spawner nearby or anything. I no, know. it was like a spammed. Spammed? Yeah, it was like, it wasn't like a spawner. It was like, it was a constant spam of like sound. Huh. Oh, well, back to the bills. I'm dead right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've only had my wither skeleton skull. I would say that I'm even better right now. E amazing. What am I hearing? What? <laughs> the awkward <laughs> the silence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm trying to figure out where that sound is coming from. I don't know why you can't hear it. Oh, by the way, sub the sub the bro friend dude on YouTube. As the sign says right here, that's so sneakily placed. Oh, what is that sound? You're telling me you can't hear none of that. <laughs> I don't hear. I don't know what you're on about. I, uh, my brain has been fried way too many times for this. What is this design that I'm doing? I've caught you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Can I have that back? Wait, what did that? <laughs> nah, I'll just make a new one. Well, for, for what for? <laughs> I'm so confused. Even if that was the cause of it, how do you how are you even doing it? Bro, what? 
What am I hearing? <laughs> I have found your trickery. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing. I was like, what? <laughs> Bro, that is too good. <laughs> I knew there was something going on. <laughs> Bro, the fact that you just showed up behind me while I was trying to do it. That was funny. Oh, yeah. Bro, that was hilarious. Oh, no. Now, just to find my dragon head. I can't wait to do it on someone else now. <laughs> Did you do it on Michael yet? No, I was gonna do it on him with a dragon head. Because it actually makes dragon noises and it's really loud. <laughs> oh. I can just imagine doing it with the observer clock, too. No, no one, none of you saw it because my OBS window wasn't uh, uh, picking up Minecraft for some reason. There was pumpkins everywhere, all over this farm, but I got it all cleaned up. No more bad stuff. I think we should probably sleep. Silly little orange cat. Bro, it's kind of scary when you're sleeping with a dragon head on. It made dragon noise. Meow. Uh, uh, was that you? What do you mean? Dude, I just heard extremely intense dragon noises. Dude, what is up with these intense dragon noises? Dragon noises. Do you like Are you in the me? Are you in the end dimension right now? Dude, I am literally just wearing a dragon hat. That's probably probably what it is. Okay. I'm wearing one too. There's no way you're not hearing this stuff. There's no way I'm losing my mind. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Dude! What is going on? Dude, are you making that noise? What noise? I'm at my tent. Yeah, my game is broken. Or I'm just losing my brain. So, like. Okay, so the dragon head does make random goofy eye noise. When was that ever a thing? I don't think that was ever a thing. Wait, wait, wait. Rebel Scum 591 on YouTube. Please yeah. support the channel. That's all we're doing for this fine evening. There's a creeper out there. <laughs> Hello. No, it's, no, it's not. Dude. Oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm causing this I man so much anxiety. Bro, you do not know how long it Bro, stop. I'd say this is a job well done. Another pumpkin farm. A return to melon farm. That's pretty good. I mean, it, it totally didn't get blown up before. You would never know anything happened. Unless if you watched the live stream back. We do a little bit of trolling with those mob head sounds. What do you say? I find it funny that Michael never even figured out what it was or saw me do it. We got the silence armor trim and that was epic. And we built a little bunker for one just in case. But next episode, for sure, we're gonna be building a little, I don't know, I'm gonna say a smithing template monument. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make it look first. But that's the end of this episode. 
If you enjoyed, make sure to like it if you liked it. And other than that, see you next time in the next episode.